Hello everyone, let's take a look at our next problem. Show that n to the 5 minus n to the 3 is divisible by 12. Um, so the first thing I might do is factor this and see what happens. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what will happen. But um, let's just go ahead and go n cubed times n squared minus 1. And then, of course, I also end up with a difference of squares. I need to show this is divisible by 12. Okay, so the first thing I see... Uh, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm putting this all together now. Okay, so what, what what I have here, I have this number, whatever number this is, I have it factored into a product of three consecutive numbers, n minus 1, n, and n plus 1. Uh, but the factor of n actually comes with two additional, uh, two additional copies of itself. So... Um, in order for something to be divisible by 12, it has to be a multiple of 3 and a multiple of 4. Um, at least 1 of n minus 1, n, and n plus 1 is a multiple of 3. Okay, so that's done. That's good. And now we want to think about something being a multiple of 4. And we'll have to break this up into two cases, whether n is even or odd. If n is even, then n cubed is a multiple of 4. Okay. Um, that's pretty easy to see, right? Because if n is even, then n has a factor of 2 in it. And in fact, we can say something better than this. n cubed will in fact be a multiple of 8, not just a multiple of 4. But that's overkill. And if n is odd, then n plus 1 times n minus 1 is a multiple of 4. And that's because if, if n is odd, then n plus 1 and n minus 1 are both even. And if you multiply together two numbers that are even, you get a multiple of 4. Um, so we've handled all the possible cases to get our multiple of 4. And so no matter how these three things are kind of arranged, whether, whether n is even or odd, we have at least one multiple of 3. And we have at least, you know, we'll, we'll get our multiple of 4 in here. So this shows that n to the 5 minus n cubed is divisible by both 3 and 4. Yeah. Um, that was a nice, uh, nice little one. I didn't really know where this was going to go when I first saw it, but... Um, just based on the form of how this was written, it kind of, it's kind of yelling at me that it needs to be factored. Um, and then once I had it written like this, um, I just kind of saw right away that factors of 2 and factors of 3 are going to kind of, they're going to come out of it in, no matter how these numbers happen to be ordered or arranged or whatever. Thanks for watching.